welcome to the show. This is our big day. There's an awful lot of horse racing, very little time for talk. Let's get to it right after this. State breads, now one is a race other than Maiden claiming a starter. Favorite six to five, Prospect is dancing, Gary Stevens. And they're off. On the far outside, it's a double cause. Prospector's Dance broke sharply. CB account comes on through. Toward the far outside, the Pro Monroe is in the early mix, and so is Tahapo. Heading for the far turn, the Pro Monroe out there, three wide, short lead. CB account down inside, staying with those two. In between them, it's Prospector's Dance running third. Tahapo is fourth. And the far outside, a double cause, fifth by three and a half lengths. Then it's one finicky moving to six. Victor VC is seventh. LeBaire three wide, eighth. Ian Storm is ninth. Chocolate pudding is tenth. Squeaky Clean is eleventh. And Duchess is secret twelfth. Then a break of six. Back to Ian Storm, who trails the field as they come toward the top of the stretch. The Pro Monroe's been fighting hard the whole way, and he gets to the lead as the field turns for home. But Prospector's Tents is right there. Tahapo jostled about in between those two. On the outside, one finicky is coming hard, and Iron Will is coming up the rail, and LaBear is storming down the middle of the track. In the final furlong, the Pro Monroe fighting hard to hold a short lead. Watch this finish. This is a beauty. Keep your eye on Prospect Distance, the favorite. On the inside, that's Iron Will. Migliori, they're going to hit the line together. Announcer Tom Durkin called it a dead heat. He was wrong. Columbine Stable, Todd Fletcher, Gary Stevens, the chalk. Prospect Distance, 443, 260. Iron Will, 786, 10. One finicky, 550. Exacta, 5 and 8. $39.60. Here's the second, seven furlongs. He's a three and up. Now wins a race other than Maiden claiming. Favorite here, the number two, Boyer One, Frank Alvarado. The field turning for home. Boyer One still holding on to the lead. Boyer One still in front, and he's under a hand ride. Real easy, took a failed run at him. Here comes Volatility charging on the outside, and Wild Night out down toward the inside star of Valor. Well, we apologize. We've got to pick some of these up in progress. We have 11 races, but that's the chalk. Voyeur 1 takes the lead, holds it all the way for Willard Andrews, Mike Hernandez, and Frank Alvarado. Long shot off a layoff, gets second. Voyeur 1, 734, 80, 360. Wild Night Out, 1060, 690. Star of Valor, 560. Quinella, 211, 11, 259, 50. Exacta, 211, $100.50. The double, 5 2, 18 40. Here's the third. They're going seven furlongs. These are two year olds. Now, one is a race other than Maiden or Claiming. Favorite here, the number one entry, Oro Bandito and Willing. Accelerator is taken wide by Wild Tempest. They're at the top of the stretch. It's the Silver Move. The Silver Move has taken a short lead. Oro Bandito is not done yet, and he's fighting on gamely. In the final furlong, the Silver Move, a long neck. Oro Bandito. Linda Rice horses always run good first time, but this one's coming back third time, actually. Going to get a nice win on a good trip under Richard Migliori riding for Earl Silver and Linda Rice. 760, 390, 340. Oro Bandito, 320, 250. Trafalgar, 560 to show. The 7 1 Exacta, $28.20. Here's the fourth. This is seven furlongs, three and up at allowance conditions. The favorite here will give you four to five on Orms, being Julie Crone. Competition and Richmond Runner is competition enough. Here comes Richmond Runner. Orms be put to the whip. The momentum carries Richmond Runner past. Richmond Runner in Richmond front. Richmond Runner always likes this distance, always puts in a good race. Today, that race is going to be good enough to win. It looks like Ormsby, the favorite, is going to hold on for the place. But here comes a late move from the number two, May I Inquire, to finish out your exactor. But the winner is Richmond Runner for Reynolds and Alexander. Frank is the trainer. Jerry Bailey up. 950-430-250, May I Inquire, 620-320. The favorite, Ormsby, 230. But 2552-1860, exacta 5-2. $41.80. And the pick three, the 275, three of three, $206. On to the fifth, the mile and a quarter over the inner turf. These are three and up, claiming tag 60 down to 50. Favorite, the number 10, Zack Attack with Santos. And they're off. 
Toward the inside, Orange Bobin shows the early initiative, and Jean-Luc Semaine puts him on the lead. Orange Bobin leads the way into the first turn, and just in behind on the inside, it's pick six king, and in between horses, the Wild Irishman, Groucho Gaucho, is there on the outside. Mr. Hydro up close, and he gets through an opening on the inside. In behind that grouping of four horses is Zack Attack, who's found his way to the rail early. It's another two to Lunatic Luke, followed by Best of Music. Then it's Little Friend on the outside as they make their way toward the backstretch. Up top, Orange Bovin, the leader by a length. Pick six, King running second. That's Johnny North down on the rail, up close to the pace and hard held. Wild Irishman in the clear and on the outside. It's two lengths to Zack Attack and Groucho Gaucho, followed by Best of Music, Lunatic Luke, Little Friend, Mr. Hydro, Zeebuck, and the trailer is Wave Your Flag as they move down the backstretch. The pace is strong enough. The opening half mile went in 49 and 1 fifth seconds. Orange Bovin is the leader. Right up there, it's pick six King. And Johnny North under a severe hold by Shane Sellers. Johnny North in behind the lead and down inside. He's bottled up. On the outside, the Wild Irishman in the clear, running in fourth. Zack Attack right up there in the thick of it. On the outside, Groucho Gaucho's kicking in. Best of music down toward the fence. Little Fran and Little Tick Luke. Farther back, Z Buck, Mr. Hydro. And wave your flag. Too much to do around the far turn. Orange Bobin trying to go it all the way on the lead. He's still in front. Pick six, King called on for more run. Here comes Groucho Gaucho on the outside. Johnny North has been in behind the lead the whole way. He's right there down toward the inside. Zack Attack in behind a wall of horses. Nowhere to go. At the top of the stretch, pick six, King and Orange Bobin. Orange Bobin not done yet. He's still got the lead. Orange Bobin by a length. Pick six, King. Johnny North down inside. Lunatic look closing on the far outside. Best of music down on the fence. It's still Orange Bobin. Johnny Watch this one. Coming up the inside, you heard the announcers say Johnny North, Shane Sellers had a handful of horse if he gets through he does get through Johnny North the Fer Fertil Acres Farm Gary Siaka Shane Sellers 25 80 12 46 70 Orange Bowman the pace center 5 44 40 the favorite Zack attack three dollars two fours 147 try two four ten five hundred and ninety dollars The Cardinascra handicap. These are three year olds. The favorite here will give you seven to five. Why change? And CC Lopez. And they're off. Why change comes out on the lead, but Arrow Man will run with Why Change early. Why change in front? Harrow Man pressing. Prince Heaven joins the early fray. Just in behind them, Criminal Suit is fourth. In contention on the fence, fifth by three. Then it's Gold Fever. Followed by Lonsdale and Gator Dancer is at the back. He's already 15 lengths out of it. Moving up the back stretch. Why change under pressure all the way from Prince Heaven through a lively quarter in 22 and 3 fifth seconds. Three lengths to Criminal Suit who advances to third. Harrowman's back to fourth. It's another three to In Contention. In Contention's now about seven lengths from the lead. Farther back, Gold Fever is just beginning to pick it up now. Then Lonsdale, Gator Dancer, is still better than 12 from the lead. And the leader's wide change, who ran a contested half in 45 and one-fifth seconds. Prince Heaven still persistent. Here comes Criminal Suit. Here comes Gold Fever. Here comes In Contention. And here comes Gator Dancer. They're coming to the top of the stretch. Why change with a firing line in behind them? Gold Fever takes to the outside in contention coming up the rail. Then it's Criminal Suit. Gator Dancers in behind that group. Prince Evan drops out. It's still Why change. Gold Fever putting in a bold late bid. Gator Dancer on the outside. Why change. CeCe Lopez pleading for one more furlong. He's still grimly holding on. Gold Fever coming to He's going to pick up 10 pounds for winning the Jerome, and that's going to compromise him. Here comes Gold Fever also out of the Jerome to get second, and a bad trip on Gated Nance has to settle for third. Gold Fever, Cynthia Phipps, Shug McGahee, Mike Smith. 562, 80, 240. Y change, 270, 220. Gator Dancer, 270. The exact is 67, $15.20. Now let's get to the big ones. And we'll begin with the 16th running of the Kelso. Grade three, one mile over the Widener turf course. Handicap for three and up. The favorite, the number one, the horse with Gary Stevens. And they're off. Kerry's Clown breaks first, and he's going right out after the lead. Not surprising on the far outside. Doughty is there, and at the inside, 
the horse. But it's Kiri's Clown who's the fastest of them all. The leader, Doughty's in between horses. Not surprising, headstrong on the outside. Iberto Castilla trying to harness his speed. De Haas has got a good spot. He's just in behind the lead, rating in fourth. Gentleman Bo, under restraint, fifth on the outside. And Boloshin has come out sixth. He's right in behind De Haas. Then on the outside, it's Torsh Ruse, followed on the inside by an unhurried same old wish. A break of three and a half to last year's Kelso winner, Mighty Forum. And the trailer is long shot, Native Tribe, as they move up the back stretch. The opening quarter went in 23 and 3 fifth seconds. Carries Clown under pressure from Doughty. Not surprising with them on the outside. Last year's sprint champion right up there with the pace running in third. De Haas just in behind the lead. Gentleman of Bose alongside him. Then it's Boloshin. He's only five lengths from the lead. Followed by same old wish. Torch Ruse. Mighty form getting in gear. He's moving on the outside. Coming to the top of the stretch. Carries Clown holding on to the lead by a half length. Doughty is right there. De Haas is still bottled up down inside. Boloshin is looking for a way through. Same old wish is down on the hedge. He's trying to come in through. Not surprising. Nothing left. Boloshin switched to the outside. Gentleman Bow is coming on. Doughty taking over. It's Doughty now in front as they hit the eight ball. De Haas is trying to come on through. Boloshin coming fast. So is Gentleman Bow. Mighty Forum storming down the center of the course. De Haas trying to squeeze through. He's got room on the inside and he's running to the lead. It's the Haas in front on the in between horses. Same old wedge coming on and he got it. It is. How about this for a good job of waiting a handicap? Look at these horses. De Haas gets through. He looks like the winner. Uh, Here's a horse that's prospering because he had a check a bit. Same old wish, a one-run horse is just going to get through as he's making that one run at a big price. He looked like a little bit outclassed here, but he's going to get the money. Shane Sellers up on the horse. Same old wish, and there's a big crowd in the winner's circle. A lot of people in the friendship stable, Bobby Barbera and Shane. Big balloons, 71, 14, 65, 60. De horse, 380, 250. Bolachin, 280. The exact 9 1, 307, 50. Try 912, $864. Well, we'll stay on the turf, but now we're going to the mile and a half. This is going to be on the Widener. This is the Turf Classic Invitational, a grade one. Lukewarm favorite, the number two AWOD with Pat Day. they're off. Turk Passer sent to the lead immediately by John Velasquez. He's on a mission to get the lead and he's got it. Diplomatic Jet has reined in. Here comes Marlin moving on the outside and Posidonis is keyed up today. He's down toward the rail in hand as they move by us for the first time. And up top it is Turk Passer who has established a clear lead. He's in front by two lengths heading for the turn. Marlin running second. Posadonis down inside third. Diplomatic Jet is rating. He's about six lengths from the lead now. He's followed by Definite Article. Then it's Bad Bertrice again. The German horse is in between horses. Flitch down inside. Drafting in behind them. Montjoy has taken up a position at the back of the pack along with the gray op smile. It's another three. Back to Awad who's loping along comfortably in the early going. He's about 12 lengths from... Turk Passer, who was in this position last year when he won it, on a clear and uncontested lead. The opening half mile was a sedate one, 48 and 4 fifth seconds. Turk Passer, the leader. Now Diplomatic Jet's going to take a run at him. He's second now on the outside. Marlin running third. Definite article moving eagerly on the outside. Posidonis is hard held six lengths from the lead. Up smile in the clear on the far outside. In and among horses is Bad Bertrice again. Montjoy at the back of the pack along with Flitch. It's another five back to Awad who continues to trail the field with about five furlongs to go. Turk Passer trying to steal it again. He's still clear by two and a half lengths. Diplomatic Jet running second through three quarters in 114 and one. Marlin remains third toward the inside. Up smile is fourth. Definite article, three lengths from the lead. Unhurried at this point as they move into the far turn. Flitch is finding his best stride. Down toward the inside, Bad Bertrice again. Montjoy, seven lengths from the lead, still moving comfortably. Posadonis has dropped out of it. And it's another four back to Awad, still trailing the field. Diplomatic jet at the neck of Turk Passer. And the cadence is quickening now as they near the top of the stretch. Up smile looms on the outside third. Marlin toiling in fourth. Definite article is fifth and the field turns for home and diplomatic jet is blown away from Turk Passer. Only token resistance from Turk Passer and it is diplomatic jet pulling away from the field. A three length lead with a furlong to run. Up smile is second. Awad is full of run on the outside. Awad really flying. But the
granted, our water is going to run very well, but our water hasn't been making it to the winner's circle. And here at Belmont Park, if you're betting against Diplomatic Jet on the Widener, you better know where to get some fresh money. He loves it. Horse for course, Fred Hooper, Jimmy Picu, Jorge Chavez. 13, 40, 6, 10, and 4. Award 4, 33, 10. Marlin, 5, 40. The Exacta, 6, 2, 47, 20. The Tri, 6, 2, 10. No foreign horses in there. 266, 50. And the pick three, three of three, not too bad. Same old wish, 2,691 if you had that one in the middle, a 696. And the pick six, new body pick six, five of six, almost 3,000. Tomorrow, we'll be here tomorrow. Pick the ponies, pick the ponies. 190,000, almost 191 in the carryover. Ponies, pros, and you. And here is the big one, one of the two big ones today, the Moet Champagne, 125th running. It's a grade one, 400,000. It is for two-year-olds. The favorite, the number seven trader with Jerry Bailey. And they're off. Gold Tribute comes out running for the lead. Just a Cat is there on the far outside. Shammy Davis, bold decor is flashing early speed. Safe floor descent, he's up close along with Mercer Mill. And Trader's right up there early. He's about three and a half lengths from the lead. On the far outside, gunfight. Six wide moving down the back stretch. Ordway is moving quickly on the inside. And it's two lengths back to Acceptable. And now just in behind Trader. Then a break of four to Irish Silence and another two and a half back to Divine Insight, who was the last of them all. A legitimate first quarter here, 23 seconds flat, and the leader is Bold Day Core. But Gold Tribute is right there moving with them. Just a Cat is also up with the lead. Shammy Davis, four wide. Gunfight, five wide. Just in behind them, it's Ordway close to the pace six. Mercer Mill. Bailey has Trader on the outside as they round the far turn. The half went in 46 seconds flat, rounding the far turn. And it's Just a Cat with a short lead. Shammy Davis is right there with them. Gunfight on the outside. And Trader makes his move, and there he goes. But he'll take the overland route, and Gold Tribute will come up. Up the rail three furlongs from the line and the Moet champagne and just a cat has a narrow lead gold tribute has room on the inside he's right there Shammy Davis also with the pace trader is coming on the far outside Ordway in behind the lead the field turning for home it's still just a cat trader and corks his rally on the outside and gold tribute is charging toward the rail Ordway is following him they're coming past the eighth pole gold tribute and trader going head to head Ordway trying to split those two with a decisive thrust. Here comes Ordway. Bert. What a ride by John Velasquez, who rode Trader when it won the Futurity. Chose to stay on Ordway today. He is redeemed. He's a good handicapper, is John Velasquez, and not a bad rider either. William Punk Jr., Philip DeLeo, David Donk, John Velasquez, they said they'll see you in Canada. $17,580,370. Trader, $3,230. Gold Tribute, $3.00. The one seven's fifty-five dollars. The try one seven and five one forty-eight fifty. And now the box office event. The seventy-eighth running Jockey Club Gold Cup, Grade One, one million dollars. They're going a mile and a quarter. You know who the favorite is, Cigar. Ready for the start. And they're off. Louis Coutures and Skip Away break together. Secreto de Estano is just in behind him. Cigar came out in good order on the outside. Mahogany Hall, editor's note, will be the early trailer. Louis Coutures has established the early lead. Skip Away, though, right there to be his escort as they begin their run into the backstretch. Skip Away settles a half length off front running Louis Coutures. Three and a half lengths back and Cigar is moving eagerly early. Jerry Bailey trying to harness his early speed. He's third on the outside and well in hand. To his inside is long shot Secreto de Estado. At the back of the pack, the Belmont winner, editor's note. And the trailer is Mahogany Hall as they begin that long run down the Belmont backstretch. The pace is a sensible one. 24 seconds flat for the opening quarter. And they have run a half mile here in 47 and 3 fifth seconds. Louis Couture is in front. His constant companion is Skip Away. Four lengths back to an unhurried Jerry Bailey with Champion Cigar. They're now about six lengths from Louis Couture's. Segreto Zayostado is nothing, and he's dropping back. 
Alongside him is editor's note as the field enters the far turn. Mahogany Hall is 15 behind. Around the far turn, a half mile left in the Jockey Club Gold Cup. Louis Couture's the Preakness winner is the leader. Skip away a second, and there he goes. Cigar is on the move, and he is taking aim at the leaders. He is three lengths behind with three furlongs to go. It's a break of four lengths back to editor's note. Mahogany Hall getting underway. It is Louis Couture's and Skip Away, and they are inseparable as they turn for home with Cigar, an imposing presence in behind them. They turn for home, and Skip Away has taken the lead. It is Skip Away in front. Louis Couture's down inside. Cigar bearing down on them. He's a length behind Skip Away with one furlong to go. Skip Away, tough customer today. Jerry Bailey fully extending Cigar. Skip Away might pull it off. Here comes Cigar. Cigar wanders to the outside. Skip Away, here's the finish, and it is. I believe Skip Away got it. I believe Skip Away. It's a great has race. Take nothing away from Cigar. Remember, Skip Away is far and away the best three year old in the country. He is getting five pounds from Cigar. That helps him. I think Louis Couture has probably helped Cigar by forcing Skip Away to at least stay on the pace. But Cigar makes a gallant effort. It's going to come up a head short. Skip Away. <laughs> wins wherever he goes. This is a very well-traveled horse for Carolyn Hines, Sonny Hine, the trainer. Shane Sellers back aboard. They are invincible. However, not a Breeders' Cup nominee. 1360, 290, 210. Cigar, 220, 210. Louis Couture's 210. Shane Sellers got his third, and this was the big one. 4-6 exact at 25-80. Try, 4-6-2, 84-50. Here's the finale, anticlimactic, but it is the finale. A mile and a sixteenth on the widener. These are Phillies and Mayors, three and up. Now one is a two, other than three to five on captive number and Mike Smith. And they're off. Bank approval fires right out. Captive number with a good break today, and there she goes. Captive number and bank approval hook up early. Track by I only advise for you and Ciro Seductress on the far outside. Dream Scheme has come out running in fifth. Then it's three more lengths back to Barista toward the outside with the red cap, just to her inside Little Monday. Then farther back is Light Music, Irish Daisy, and Ethel May is tenth and last. The opening quarter, 23 and two. Up the back stretch, bank approval. In front by a neck, captive number right there. I only advise for you toward the hedge and up close third. Then it's two miles back to Ciro Seductress in fourth by three. Dream Scheme in fifth, and she's sixth from the lead. Then it's a stretch of five more lengths back to Little Monday. To her outside is Barista. Then farther back, Light Music, Ethel May, and farther behind, Irish Daisy. The half went in 46 and two. About three eighths out now. Still bank approval and captive number going head to head as they come toward the top of the stretch. On the far outside, Dream Scheme starts the rally now. Dream Scheme closing in on those fighting front runners. I only advise for you is in fourth. Then farther back is Barista as they straighten away into the stretch. Captive number comes off the turn in front. Bank approval in a full out drive. Dream Scheme with those white blinkers running third and put to the whip. I only advise for you toward the rail. On the far outside, Barista and Ethel May. They're in the final 16th and... The battle will be for second. This horse was a layover on paper, but as you saw in the Jockey Club Gold Cup, that doesn't always mean a victory. In this case, it did. Captive number, Windbound Farm, Gary Siaka, Mike Smith, 340, 230, 210. Irish Daisy, 440, 220. Farista, 220. Exacta, 13, $17. Try, 138, 8350, double four and one, 4280. Tomorrow's 10 race card. Remember, huge carryover. In the first, take out the nine Uncharted Waters, 18 Pearl Garden, 19 Satin Sunrise, 20 Ash Shenani. In the second, the 11 All My Life's a Circle, 12 Atlanta, 16 Side Step by Step. In the fifth, the four Sovereign Gem, the 13 Golden Seamstress. In the fifth, that was. In the tenth, the four Alamy, 17 Copen Garden, 18 Validate, 19 Stroller, 20 Bull in the Heather. Well, we had a big day here today. They'll be talking about it for a long time. So will we. We'll go over it again with you on Inside Racing. We hope you enjoyed today at Belmont Park. It was a super day. Good night. May the horse be with you.